Now is the time. This is the right moment for the tax organization to win a seat at the table, to show leadership and to be the drivers of their own transformation. Have you found that having a tax business partner has generated a return on investment for your organization? Oh yes, in, in a year it's multi-millions. Wow. What is the purpose of transformation? If the purpose is just, oh, we need to migrate to the next version of SAP, it would fail. Is SAP at the backbone of your transformation as well, or do you use different technology sets? Obviously, SAP drinks in some champagne. <laughs> <laughs>It's really important for tax leaders to understand the CFO agenda and really talk in their language when it comes to getting tax, a seat at the table and finance transformation to drive the tax business case. So I'm delighted to be joined today by Reno Hayde, the UK CFO at SAP, to hear his perspectives. Reno, thank you very much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Uh, to start with, it'd be great to hear your perspective from your CFO discussions and what's top of their agendas. Well, I think there has never been a better time to be a CFO. Uh, as we know, we are going through troubled times, um, ge geopolitical crisis, um, and the economic environment is changing. We have new elections in the UK. Uh, and this is where the role of the CFO is so important. We are the ones who have the tools, the methodology to weather the crisis. Why? Because we think long term. And what we have at heart is the resilience of our organization. And Renaud, why is tax so important to the CFO today? I would say for two different reasons. The first one is the pure compliance reasons. We know that the regulatory framework is uh, stricter and stricter. Uh, in the UK, the Economic uh, Fraud Prevention Act has been passed and we'll have to comply with it. So I have the pleasure to serve as a chairman of multiple boards and my fellow directors expect that the finance function and the tax organization are fully compliant to protect them because they are personally uh, exposed. But this is just the pure compliance thing. I think for me, is more how we can transform the tax organization as a business partner. And that's really interesting because what I hear a lot from the tax community is that they feel sometimes left out or left behind and, and not a first priority. What would your top recommendations be to the, to the tax community to change that? Well, I, I think to be vocal, to be proud and loud and to, to show the value they can bring beyond the pure compliance, beyond just being able to file accurate declarations on time, and finding the right stakeholders within the organization, within finance and beyond, to, to demonstrate the value they can bring. And I can say for my business, it's essential to have uh, with me a tax expert who can support me with commercial negotiations, which is really um, unleashing a lot of potential because uh, some customers have specific requirements that in the past I would not have been able to cut off for and I would just have said, no way, we can't do this. Now having this commercial support helps me accommodate more customer requests and therefore increase the revenue for my organization still while protecting the interest of my company. Yeah. And have you found that having a tax business partner, if I can call it that, has generated a return on investment for your organization? Oh yes, in a year it's multi-millions. Wow multi-millions that have been generated that we probably won against competition because, of course, we don't live in an isolated world. So what's top of mind when it comes to the CFO's agenda for transformation? Well, this is the top of mind because finance is a supporting function. It's not core business. And we want the company to be able to focus mostly on their core business. So that's why we need to have a very agile, cost-efficient finance organization and uh, while delivering increasing output and outcome for the business. Taking that a step further for tax, where do you think tax fits into that agenda? Well, it's essential. It's essential to be at the beginning of the process and to be the leader of change mm -hmm. and not be the afterthought. That means that the, finance, the tax function needs to have a clear view on what contribution they can make to the success of the organization as a whole and articulate that clearly in advance so that they are at the set table when key decisions are made with regard to this transformation. And the transformation has different aspects. It's processes, it's technology, it's organization and people. These are, for me, the four most important pillars. And tax needs to be involved in those four because either they transform themselves or they get transformed by others. And I think that tax leadership need to take in, in, in charge their own transformation. And you mentioned the four pillars there, and I guess SAP supports 
fundamentally around the technology pillar, but yes. it's really insightful to hear you talk about how the four pillars really need to fit together, and I imagine SAP enables that. Yes. From your perspective and all the changes you've seen within your time at SAP, what has that journey and transformation looked like? I'm with the company for more than 25 years, so I've seen a lot and I've seen this transformation. I've been a change agent participating in the design of the new organization, and now I'm the customer of it as a CFO of the local market unit. And what is fundamental to me is that we brought all our people on board with that, and they were part of the transformation. And for most of them, it was a career acceleration. But it wasn't easy. And it required a lot of leadership to be able to combine those four dimensions, redesign the processes. It starts with that. Know your processes and challenge them. It's not about replicating what you've been doing for 25 years. It's thinking forward what processes you need in the future. And be ruthless in eliminating everything that is redundant mm -hmm. and standardize as much as you can. Because what you can standardize can be automated. And then set up the organization to make sure that you have the right resources with the right skills in the right place. And with that, you can then implement the technology that drives the efficiency and transparency and real-time analytics and uh, everything you, you expect from the technology. That's great to hear and what an amazing journey as well. And is SAP at the backbone of your transformation as well or do you use different technology sets? So obviously SAP drinks in all champagne. <laughs> Um, and we wanted to be the first adopter of SAP as for HANA. We are the first multinational with 110,000 employees running on one single tenant, and that covers more than 100 countries. That required some effort to go from a world where we were in a comfortable environment, highly customized for our own needs, because of course we have all the developers there to do whatever we wanted them to do, to a world where we said, no, in cloud computing, software as a service, everything needs to be standard. So moving from highly customized environments to a system that is fit to standard um, has been a big transformation for us, for the better. Because now every time there is innovation coming in the product or any change in the regulation, it gets automatically embedded in the software and we benefit from that. And we can focus on delivering value to the business instead of um, playing catch up with technological change or uh, regulatory changes. And what would be your key takeaways for our tax community here? I've got two. The first one is people. I'm always focused about people because in my company, the only asset we have doesn't sit on my balance sheet, but sits in my offices, it's my people. So I think my advice to the tax organizations is to bring new skills in the mix, uh, especially around uh, being tech savvy understand the art of the possible, what technology can bring, but also uh, other skills like uh, data management, data analysis, um, so that you have a broader spectrum and you can understand the, the issues more and adopt uh, new ways of working and adopting the technology better. And the second one is now is the time because the stars have aligned. We have first of all Pillar 2, which is a strong company event for tax uh, transformation. And the second one is that most of the organizations are now migrating from the legacy ERP platforms to modern ones like S4HANA. So this is the right moment for the tax organization to win a seat at the table, to show leadership and to be the drivers of their own transformation and move to a place where they can really deliver proactive insight. Well, Reno, thank you very much for such a fascinating discussion and taking the time to be with us here today. I know our audience and especially our tax community will find that incredibly valuable. Thank you again. Thank you.